Continuing the theme of couples, um, couples and their bank accounts, how can you make those more efficient? Well, lots of people have a bank account each and then a joint bank account for bills. That's a very common way for couples to manage their finances. Uh, and again, coming from doing my show, and I did a wallet workout on my show the other day, I met lots of couples who have one of these, but they've just got it in a bog-standard bank account. Where there are two bank accounts I would suggest which are great for bills accounts. One is NatWest Reward. You pay it £3 a month, but it then it gives you 3% cash back on all your household bills you pay from it by direct debit. So with typical household bills, you'll make 80, 90 quid a year. You've got smaller bills, the Santander 123 Lite, which is one pound a month, and then pays variable between one and 3% on your bills, but it also pays on your mortgage, which the others don't, as long as it's a Santander mortgage. So if you've got a joint bills account, you may as well get one of those that gives you cash back for paying your bills. Yeah. Simple as that. So joint bills account, have a look at NatWest Reward or Santander 123 Lite, because okay. they pay you. Um, car breakdown cover. Yeah, lots of people with the AA and RAC, but there are other companies you haven't heard of, and one that has been my top pick for years, just simply because it's so much cheaper than the rest and I get good feedback reports on it, is AutoAid. Now, AutoAid is £43 a year. For that, you get normal breakdown, home start, and onward travel, which is pretty much full service. Gosh. £43 a year. It covers you in any car you drive and your spouse. How do they so make money you, on that? If That's you're married, amazing. your spouse is covered too, or a civil partner. Mm. So and they're covered on any car they On any car, £43 for two if you're a couple. It's still £43 for one if you're not a couple. But, you know, contrast that to equivalent at the AA. Mm. It's over 100 quid. So have a look at that, and the feedback mm. I get is good. Auto well, aid. here's something okay. I wouldn't want to do. Shift my partner's debt to my credit card. Well, look, yeah, that's a very well, silly, chauvinist well, kind of thing to say, isn't it? Because well, I don't have more. any debt on my credit card. Oh, well, I pay my credit card every month, so take that, that back right now. And I, I would like to see the evidence of that, darling. Yeah. I'm not Feel sure free. of that. Right, enough look. of that. I'm not sure uh, of that. Have a look. Enough, enough. Behave. But if, um, but if Eamon did look, have some debt so on look, his the credit point here card, is, I could take it. The best thing to do if you've got debt on a credit card is make sure it's a zero percent interest, which is a balance transfer card when you get a new card that pays off the debts and old cards for you, so you owe the new card the money at the cheap rate. The problem is you've got to be accepted for that. So one of the things you can look at, if one of the couple has debt and they can't get a cheap card and you'd use a soft search or an eligibility calculator online to see what cards you can get, and the other one has a better credit score, well, two card companies, Barclay Card and MBNA, will allow you to apply for a 0% card and then transfer your partner's debt to it. So that is allowed under their terms and conditions, not under, under the others. They say you can't, but those two do allow it. Now, of course, if you did that, and the, the, what you two are, are so joking about is true... if I took Eamon's debt... It then becomes your debt. Because I was going to say, it does become Absolutely my... crucial. You understand if you're going to do this, it becomes your debt. But if you're a loving, trusted couple who have, joint, who have finances linked together and one of you is paying 20% interest for your debts and the other has a decent credit score, then transferring it over to 0% so you can both pay it off together is a is thing a that, good. in its entirety, helps the household finance. But you have to accept, if you do that, the person who it's shifted to, it becomes your debt. Yeah. Again, more details on that I'm putting on the website because it's complicated. Let's, sure the other it's only those two you. card companies. Let's okay. finish on a nice afternoon out, a two-for-one cinema together. Aww. OK, so you will have seen the Compare the Market adverts where they give you two-for-one cinema if you go and get one of their products. But here's a little thing that they might not like, but we'll tell you anyway. If you, Lots of different products count, some don't count, but one that does count is travel insurance. And the cheapest type of travel insurance is a one-day UK-only travel insurance policy, even if you perhaps didn't end up travelling. Now, that one-day only UK travel insurance policy can be as cheap as £2. So you go get that £2 travel insurance policy, even if you didn't end up travelling on that day. You know what I'm saying. We all know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. Let's move on. Even if you didn't end up travelling on that day, that would get you the two-for-one for a year on Tuesday and Wednesday night, which is what they promised. So mm -hmm. you'd spend £2 and you get a two-for-one pass for cinema tickets for a, a year. year. Yeah. Yeah. Tuesday and Wednesday night. Nice. And I think with that, I go. Bye bye. That's bye. why he's good. Bye bye. Goodbye. Very good. <laughs> he's off now to he's speak. He's good now. To that brain of his. Probably.